Hey, 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 welcome Drippy gang. In this video, I want to quickly talk about my Vivo setup for the desktop. And this is on my monitor. So I have two screens similar to this. And I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of how I've organized it. And it works well for me so far. So on this left side, okay, here I have this you know this layout here which is the grid layout and uh, i have selected this in this uh, you know you can select and change this for example i have selected this one um right here six charts okay so what it does is that you, you don't get this upper panel for each chart so right now uh you know i can move this this around this is a whole grid of six charts and they are not linked to each other. So I can just change the chart here. For example, I can type uh, Amazon and uh, it's it, it's pretty good. And uh, you know, I can adjust the, the height and the width and everything else with my mouse. Or if you have a Mac, you can use trackpad. So here on the left side, I have six charts. Usually I keep like QQQ and uh, spy here mostly i'll try to keep these two always there you know spy and qqq this like bread and butter and uh, apart from that you know i just have volume here uh, the other indicators i use is the ema here so uh, this is 9 and 21 ema so if you go and edit you can look here uh, the ema section 21 and 9 are the primary one i have and uh, I've assigned these colors to it and uh, you can save the layout as well. That's what I have. And sometimes I'll keep the VWAP as well if I'm trading particular stock, uh, but I like my charts to be clean. And then I of course have levels set right now. I've, I've just like uh, uh, hidden them for the video purpose, but you know, I do have levels as well. So this is an overview of like on the left side of the panel i have this on the layout and on the right side now i have another grid but this grid is only basically this this one you know three charts in this grid and i'll explain why i have that so if you notice here this is a group here so i have selected group one and on this side i have time and sales so you can literally add widget uh you know to a layout uh, for example if you move this around you can do this add a widget so i just added this uh order book is this one on the behind and uh this one is uh basically uh there are you can go to all the widgets and find the one which uh you want i personally don't like a lot of widgets so i just have the time and sales and order book so this is the time and sales this one and uh, real quick, I'll explain why I have two time and sales. So this one first, so notice that this is group one, order book group one, and this is group one, this is group one. And also I have a watch list here, which is group one. And watch list also is a widget you can add. Um, now this one is a different time and sale. This is like raw data, all time and sales here and uh, this one is basically filter so I've, what i've done is i've added 500 more so what it does is basically it shows me that where the big orders on time and sales above 500 it will start showing me here and this is the time um this is the price and you know the red shows that it's below the uh bid you know the the transaction so anyway i'm not going to go depth in this video on time and sales but the power of this now is that when i click on this it automatically changes the time and sales so i can really quick you know change the charts and also change what i'm watching so here for example let's say I, i'm trading um tesla right so i can really quick change this to tesla and click on this and i i get the time and sales for tesla here uh, and uh, that way i can switch between three charts and if i'm in between multiple trades I can, you know, quickly switch between the time and sales order book to see what's going on on a critical level. And then now on the right side here, on the rightmost, uh, I have this uh, watch list section. So here's where my, you know, mostly uh, 
all watched is like recently viewed all stocks and then you can scroll it you know i keep a weekly watch list for example this is the old one so i can you know like quickly go through the chart and what it does is that the last chart you clicked for example here it will change that so txn it will automatically change it to this all all of these will change automatically these will remain the same what it was previously so let's say you clicked on google okay this chart and now you click on watch list so now you can change the watch chart again so click on this chart and i want to see snapchat i can really quick go to snap and it gives me time and sales and i have this layout on my other monitor as well and that's why i can switch between the charts really fast i don't have to worry about time and sales i use another platform for actually trading i don't use uh webull for trading and placing orders mm -hmm. but um I use Webull for charting mostly and look at time and sales because I like uh, how Webull is and you can organize it. Um, you can do the same layout for Think or Swim as well. But uh, I like the Webull. It's fast. It's clean. I've just gotten used to it by now. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, you have to pay for the level two data. That's all uh, real time. And uh, otherwise, it's free. So I, I like that aspect of it. So that's why let me know in comments if you guys have any questions and uh, in the future videos i'll try to cover how to read time and sales and uh, how to organize your watch list and uh, you know how to manage these multiple charts and everything else but in this video i just wanted to give you a quick overview of how to do it um let me know down in comments if you have any questions with setting up the layout if you're finding it hard to set it up let me know i can create a blank layout and then start from scratch so you can understand um, but uh, in this video i just wanted to give you a brief overview so good luck guys uh, hope you uh, find it useful all right ciao now bye